Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Europe's remaining monarchies. We'll explore their rich histories, cultural significance, and the modern roles of the royal families in the United Kingdom, Spain, Sweden, Denmark, Norway, the Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg. Let's begin our journey through time and tradition. The British monarchy is one of the oldest and most renowned in the world, with roots stretching back over a thousand years. From William the Conqueror's victory in 1066 to today, the monarchy has weathered civil wars, revolutions, and world wars. Key historical moments include the signing of the Magna Carta in 1215, starting the shift toward constitutional monarchy, and the glorious revolution of 1688, which cemented parliamentary supremacy. Culturally, the British royal family symbolizes continuity and tradition, deeply ingrained in national ceremonies like the state opening of parliament and trooping the color. Today, their role is largely ceremonial. King Charles III, following the long reign of Queen Elizabeth II, serves as head of state. The royal family engages in charitable work, state functions, and acts as a unifying figure for the nation. They also promote British culture and values worldwide through state visits and international diplomacy. Spain's monarchy has a complex history, marked by periods of abolition and restoration. It began with the unification of Castile and Aragon under Ferdinand and Isabella in the late 15th century. The Habsburg and Bourbon dynasties ruled for centuries, with King Juan Carlos I playing a pivotal role in Spain's transition to democracy after the Franco dictatorship. King Felipe VI ascended the throne in 2014 and has focused on modernizing the monarchy and restoring its image amid various challenges. The Spanish monarchy symbolizes national unity and continuity, especially important in a country with diverse regions and cultures. The king's role today is primarily ceremonial and representative, but he also promotes Spanish culture and international relations. The royal family is involved in numerous cultural, educational, and social initiatives, reinforcing their connection with the public. The Swedish monarchy is one of the oldest in the world, with a lineage tracing back to the Viking Age. Historically, Sweden's monarchy played a central role in the nation's development, from the establishment of the Swedish Empire in the 17th century to the adoption of a constitutional monarchy in the 19th century. King Carl XVI, Gustav, has been on the throne since 1973, and the Swedish royal family remains a cornerstone of national identity. Their cultural significance is evident in national celebrations, like the Nobel Prize ceremonies and public holidays, such as the National Day of Sweden. In contemporary times, their role is constitutional and ceremonial. The king performs duties such as opening the parliament, representing Sweden abroad, and supporting various charities. The royal family is also involved in environmental and social causes, reflecting Sweden's progressive values. Denmark boasts one of the oldest continuous monarchies in the world. Its history is rich with Viking heritage and medieval consolidation under rulers like King Harald Bluetooth and King Canute the Great. The current monarch, Queen Margrethe II, has reigned since 1972 and is widely respected for her artistic talents and academic contributions. The Danish monarchy is a symbol of national heritage and pride. Queen Margrethe's duties are largely ceremonial, including attending official events, state functions, and promoting Danish interests internationally. The royal family is deeply involved in charitable activities, arts, and culture, strengthening their bond with the Danish people. They play a vital role in preserving Danish traditions while also engaging with contemporary societal issues. Norway's modern monarchy was established in 1905 after the dissolution of the union with Sweden. King Hakon VII, originally a Danish prince, was chosen by the Norwegian people to be their king. His descendants have continued to uphold the monarchy's values of service and unity. 
King Harald V has been the reigning monarch since 1991. The Norwegian royal family symbolizes national unity and continuity, especially significant in a country known for its rugged individualism and local governance. The king's role today is largely ceremonial, with duties including state functions, ceremonial events, and supporting various social causes. The royal family is also known for their involvement in humanitarian efforts and environmental advocacy, reflecting Norway's strong commitment to global issues. The Netherlands. The Dutch monarchy was established in 1815, following the Napoleonic Wars. The House of Orange Nassau has played a crucial role in the nation's history, particularly during the Dutch Golden Age and the fight for independence from Spanish rule. King Willem Alexander has been the reigning monarch since 2013, following the abdication of his mother, Queen Beatrix. The Dutch royal family holds a significant place in the nation's cultural and social fabric. The king's role is primarily ceremonial and representative, including tasks such as state visits, national celebrations, and participation in public events. The royal family is also deeply involved in various charitable organizations and initiatives, promoting social cohesion and supporting the Dutch people. Their work in water management and international development highlights the Netherlands' global contributions. Belgium. Belgium became a monarchy in 1831, with King Leopold I as its first king. Following the country's independence from the Netherlands, the Belgian monarchy has since navigated the complexities of a nation divided by language and regional differences. King Philippe, who ascended the throne in 2013, continues this tradition of bridging divides. The Belgian monarchy serves as a symbol of national unity and stability. The king's role is mainly ceremonial, representing Belgium at home and abroad, and supporting numerous social and humanitarian causes. The royal family is also involved in promoting Belgium's cultural heritage and fostering a sense of national identity. Their engagement in public life helps to address the country's diverse challenges and reinforce its unity. Luxembourg. Luxembourg is a Grand Duchy and its monarchy was established in 1815. The Grand Ducal family has played a pivotal role in the nation's development, particularly in maintaining its independence and promoting its identity. Grand Duke Henri has been the reigning monarch since 2000. The Grand Ducal family is a symbol of national identity and stability. The Grand Duke's role is largely ceremonial, including participating in national events, state visits, and supporting various cultural and social initiatives. The family's involvement in Luxembourg's civic life and their dedication to public service highlight their importance in the country's contemporary society. They also play a significant role in international diplomacy, fostering Luxembourg's relations with other nations. The remaining monarchies of Europe continue to play important roles in their respective countries, blending centuries-old traditions with modern responsibilities. While their powers may be limited in today's democratic societies, their cultural and symbolic significance remains profound. These royal families are more than just historical remnants. They are living symbols of continuity, unity, and national identity. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Europe's monarchies. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating explainers. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of our world.